Tonight we are going to take a look at the series Boogie Pop Wa Wara Wanai. Better known as Boogie Pop doesn't smile in this great retrospective. Boogie Pop started out as a light novel in 1997 under the title Boogie Pop and Others, written by Kohei Kodano and illustrated by Koji Ogata. The series has been a long running one as there are over 15 novels, various manga adaptations, an anime based on the series, and the first novel was adapted into a live action movie in 2000. The story of Boogie Pop and Others revolves around a high school called Shinyo Academy. And one of the most interesting aspects is that the story is told through the viewpoints of different characters. As such, you don't get the whole story in one go. You get pieces of it and it is not until all the character stories are over that everything comes together. The movie revolves around four main players. Keiji Takeda, Akio Kimura, Kazuko Suema, and Masami Satome. Two other main players in every Boogie Pop series are student turned hunter named Nagi Karima and Toka Miyashita. The first story of the movie features Takeda as he takes an interest in his sort of girlfriend Miyashita for he discovers she is not all she seems to be. Miyashita has a split personality known as Boogie Pop and protects Japan from evil monsters such as the Manticore. <laughs> A manticore is an ancient Persian creature with the body of a lion and the face of a man. Sometimes it is also depicted with a scorpion's tail. In the Boogie Pop series, the Manticore is a creature that takes on the looks of a person it devours, and in this case, it takes the form of one of the students of the school, a girl named Minako Yurahara. Takeda's story goes through several days with him talking to Boogie Pop after school each day until a ray of light shoots up into the sky and she gives her farewell to him. <laughs> The second story is about Kimura, two years after the events with the Manticore as he reminisces about his love, Naoko, who just disappeared one day. She had been taking care of a strange man who escaped from a government lab named Echoes. Echoes kept saying he had to fight the Manticore to destroy it before he returned to his original form, which is a ray of light. Next is Suema's tale. Five years ago, there was a serial killer murdering young girls. After his death, photos of her were discovered in his home, so her mother is overly protective of her. <laughs> As such, she is a shut-in girl who rarely has a life of her own without studying. She becomes infatuated with another girl named Nagi Kirama, who is always causing the school trouble by breaking windows and running out of class. Finally, the last character to have a story is Satome. So Tomi was in love with Karima, but was rejected. He joins forces with the Manticore to bring its students for food using the creature's tears as a drug called Slave or Type S. And then disposes of the remains. <sighs> the
The story ends with a fateful battle between Boogie Pop, the Manticore, and Echoes, who returns to a beam of light that shoots across the sky. Sadly, the movie does falter in a lot of areas as it clearly did not have the budget to accomplish what it set out to do. Boogie Pop's costume looks cheaply made and does not follow its design from the novel, especially for the hat. Also, the story can be very convoluted and missing something from not paying attention closely can cause you to feel completely lost, even if it was only 10 seconds of dialogue you missed out on. The acting also isn't the greatest, but there is dialogue that the film's director had the actors ad-lib to make certain pieces feel more natural, so it does have that going for it to make up for it. Despite this, the film is still worth checking out. And while it ends with all seeming well, the story does not end there. As I said, there have been several follow-up tales, one of which is an anime called Boogie Pop Phantom. Like its predecessor, each episode of Boogie Pop Phantom follows a different character or characters, and in order to get the whole story, you need to watch all 12 episodes. Sometimes the episodes interact with each other. Episode 3 features a kid foaming from the mouth, screaming nonsense in the background as he is being grabbed by cops, while our main heroine of the episode walks down the street with her friend. <laughs> Episode 4 stars that very kid, and we get to learn what caused his outburst of insanity. They all connect in some manner, but the majority of the story takes place after a pillar of light had briefly engulfed Japan. The light also created duplicate versions of Boogie Pop and the Manticore, who are nothing more than phantoms of their originals. <gasps> what the... What do you want from me? In addition, certain people evolved into beings with superpowers due to this light, which are known as composite humans. New characters are introduced throughout the series while Karima, Suenma, and Miyashita remain a constant. The animation may look a bit dated to those used to the current stream of anime, but it actually fits more to the tone of the series sets out to be. Boogie Pop Phantom is easily one of the best horror anime series ever done. All of the stories are interesting and keep you engaged to see what happens next because you want to know how the story ends. Like the movie, it can get confusing at times, but the end result definitely outweighs the negatives. What is also nice is that while you do not need to watch the movie or read the book to fully understand Phantom, it does help to enhance the overall narrative as it does make constant references to it. Just forget about Satome. He's gone. I killed him. <laughs> Not to mention the music to both the movie and the anime are truly outstanding. Yuki Kajura did the music to the movie, whom you may be familiar with if you have watched anime series such as Noir, Dot Hack Sign, Le Portrait de Petit Cosette, and My Hame. On the other hand, a variety of artists were brought in to work on Phantom under the supervision of Hideki Amano. Also, Phantom has some truly incredible sound mixing with little things going on in the background be it disembodied screams to distorted sounding dialogue sequences or even just simple things like running water and people talking In fact, quite often there are side conversations that reveal things that are happening around the city that help build up this universe 
into a truly engaging world. The Boogie Pop franchise has definitely had its moments of greatness with its moments of negativity. Nevertheless, if you are a horror fan and do not mind storytelling that can be a little grandiose, the Boogie Pop series might be for you. Check it out, especially Phantom. Until next time, bye! なんだかここにいたんじゃん。あれ、今確か。ごめんお二人さん、勘違い。